you know, sometimes what we have to do is exhaust the bullshit, let people get tired of the bullshit, so that they'll pay attention to other things, you know? I think that on one hand, you could say Afropunk has evolved, but I don't think that would be necessarily fair to Afropunk, because a lot of us who are doing what we're doing have been doing it for a long time, you know? Um, and, and to be clear, you know, Jimi Hendrix didn't make Afro rock, Bad Brains didn't make Afro punk, and Death, who was making punk rock before the Sex Pistols, didn't make Afro punk. In fact, what they made is called punk and rock. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and so Afro punk exists to prove that there is an alternative, right? An alternative to what? An alternative to the commercialization of the bullshit. celebration of the fact that there's a diverse group of people in, the, in New York that want to come celebrate this alternative music situation. Um, and I think that it remains, it keeps its integrity by the fact that they, even though the festival gets larger, their booking stays true to what they mean to do. Um, and like, you know, just even having artists like myself and like smaller artists, you know, at, at, at this point, like, you know, like DJ Young Unique and you know, some of the other artists that are playing, just like knowing what's going on in the, the communities in New York, you know, like the underground and like pulling the, you know, artists that may not be able to like get on MTV and play Terminal 5 and like, you know, or get all these kind of interviews, you know, just really putting us in a place where we can do that is nice. And, and so, I mean, like obviously people like Theophilus and myself and Mickey Blanco, like, you know, we're playing a lot of shows around the world, but it's like nice to like, have us all together and like, you know, I want to see like more, more than half the acts at this festival, which is like a rare thing. And it's because they're really specific about who they want. Yeah. You know, I first saw the documentary that they did on, you know, Afro punk and just uh, urban artists that come from that punk genre uh, that really didn't have a place, you know, in any particular music society, if you will. A lot of times, a lot of an African American community, people weren't accepting some of these artists who were moving to the, you know, to a beat of their own drum. And then your know, traditional punk, punk scene, didn't really know what it was necessarily. Um, and so that formed this kind of subculture. Um, and when when Jocelyn and Matthew um, kind of came up with this vision to bring it all together, I always thought it was a, a, a good idea. It reminded me a lot of how hip hop culture uh, found its essence. In fact, I think it's really one and the same. I hate when music is pigeonholed and stagnant, and Afro punk kind of liberates the music scene to me. So for me, I mean, I don't know, I feel like this is, you know, it's funny, it probably is the subculture of subculture. I feel like this is going to become the culture, you know, yeah. the dominant culture, because that's how the dominant culture gets shaped by the subcultures. And everybody goes, that's the cool thing. Like, I was just talking to Jocelyn, she's like, Rolling Stone was here, the New York Times was here. That this is going to be, I feel like this is going to be the dominant culture. Afropunk After Dark, we're standing in front of Milk River with Mickey Blanco, the one and the only. What's up, you guys? This is Mickey Blanco. Shout out to Afropunk. We're out here. Like, it's been a really good night with a really good day. The festival is like the jump off. <laughs> so you performed earlier today, and then you perform right now. It's like oh, it's like two o'clock in the morning, something like that, right now. You yeah, played, yeah, and you played it like what six? Uh, six. Yeah, I did a full set at six, but I just did like like a um, 
just I did like a rap a cappella, and then I did two two songs. Two so tracks. did you know that Janelle Monae was gonna be out before you? No, a no. A surprise? No. Are you a fan? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like she's been like fucking doing her thing for a minute. Yeah, definitely like was surprised and happy to see her. Yeah, cool. So this was um, this was your first time at Afropunk? Yes. Yeah. Which is crazy because like. It's so cool. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like Afropunk's the kind of festival that ma- would make sense for someone like you in, in, in a certain sense. Like Afropunk started as this sort of fragmented phenomenon of people being in different cities and feeling like they were the only African American kid at a punk show, and then realizing there were other black kids at punk shows elsewhere, and it became this movement that sort of coalesced around that principle. And then there was a Entry, it's a real festival. thing. It's definitely it's a like real a real ass thing. Yeah. And now it's like, and now it's I like. I remember, I was like 14 when all that popped off. Yeah. I was like 14, 15. Right. And do you feel like it's changed? You feel like it's evolved? Yeah. Did you ever feel like you were a part of that? Like from the start? Yeah, I was def- I'm definitely early. That's what Afropunk did even realize. I'm like early Afropunk. Because I remember when the first festival happened. I was like a sophomore in high school or something. Yeah. Like I don't get to perform in front of this many like cool like you know alternative whatever you want to say like black people in general yeah. and afropunk has done a good job at this point of like it's an all-inclusive thing you know what totally. i mean it's about the music but still the fact that it is african-american initiated means a lot to someone like me because i play sh- shows i play shows all over the world and i'm glad that my people in my country are doing something that's like really fucking awesome and that matters uh really to, to the whole fabric of, of like you know, contemporary American history. It's like, this isn't happening anywhere else. Therefore, that in itself makes it something, you know what I mean, to be valued. Yo, thank you guys so much. I feel pumped, I feel